the excellency the rashtrapati ji the honorable prime minister the distinguished chief justice justice bandari shri ravi shankar prasad distinguished judges uh, ladies and gentlemen it's a great initiative that justice bandari and his colleagues have taken in publishing in form of a book an overview of what's happening in rest of the world as far as judicial reforms are concerned two factors which over the last two decades or two to three decades have impacted uh, on judicial reforms one is the advent in the discovery of new technologies and the other is the changing horizons of economy particularly both domestic and international coordination of the economy itself and this has completely changed the landscape of jurisprudence as far as various areas are concerned and no society can afford to really be behind times in coping up with these change otherwise we'll find that our laws are completely anachronic as far as the times are concerned i am not pessimistic and i've never been about uh, the very idea of judicial reforms in india various statutes have to be enacted many of them have to be updated and in fact if we see the history across the successive governments have been acting as far as those areas are concerned as a part of that reform process uh, you need uh, new norms of interpretation adding literally blood and flesh to the bare skeletons which existed and therefore almost with every pronouncement a major pronouncement which comes up by the court itself by a process of judicial interpretation itself a lot of reforms itself takes place and the third important aspect of the reform always has been uh, furthering the constitutional values itself and therefore we have a glorious history in this country except uh, some brief uh, uh, periods as an exception where virtually almost every tenet of the constitutional values be it fundamental rights be it judicial independence be it the federal structure be it the institution of uh, 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 free and fair elections all these institutions literally have been strengthened by a process of fundamental rights and that's the reason why we are uh, a strong democracy as we are today there's one more aspect which actually concerns us the first amongst them i think uh, is the whole issue which is a issue of common concern to all which is a matter of delay litigation taking too much time and therefore eroding public confidence uh, in the very institution of uh, litigation itself and i think it's a, it's it's a responsibility both uh, of governments uh, state and center in providing the adequate uh, enlarged infrastructure required for uh, expeditious disposal it's also a responsibility of a court by virtue of interpretation and its own management particularly now with the user of technologies itself uh, to expedite the whole process uh, of uh, expedition as far as cases are concerned well there would be several uh, issues which will keep confronting both parliament and uh, the judicial institution and i think its strength of democracy is that this debate particularly the issue which my colleague the honorable law minister just now raised uh, between the conventionalists uh, and the activists as a as, as a judicial as a ideological divide in jurisprudence this debate will always go on and it's always up to the vision and statesmanship of those who administer the institutions both in the legislature in the government as also in the judicial institution how to bring that fine balance how to bring about that self disciplining so that that institutional uh, balance remains as far as the institutions are concerned i have never had hesitation in admitting that uh, having evolved through various stages i would now put myself more in the conventionalist category and i would prefer that uh, opinion 
But I think that's a debate which will go on, and I'm sure that the statesmanship of our institutions will stand out in upholding uh, what the correct balance in these institutions would be. Thank you very much, and thank you very much, Justice Bandari, for once again uh, bringing out this very fine publication, which gives us a global overview.